Hi everybody, it's Dawn again. Listen, today I'm going to show you how to take this plain piece of board, do your very own stenciling the easy way. We all go to the stores, we see the different sayings on the wood, and we'd love to be able to do it, but stenciling, it's a little pain in the rear, and it's kind of tough for some people to do. Well, what I'm going to do today, I'm using Dixie Bell paint, the uh, Flamingo, and I'm using the Sea Glass. I'm also going to be using vinyl lettering, which I have a Cricut machine, so I cut mine out, but you can get vinyl lettering in most stores. So what I did was I started out with a plain piece of wood that I kind of kidnapped out of my husband's shop. And then all I do, I shake my paint. I'm going to put whatever I want the colors of the letter to be, I'm going to paint first. So I want my letters to be the sea glass. So I will do that with the sea glass. I'll dip my brush in a little bit of water and then I'll get that water off. I'll wipe that water off just so that my brush is a little damp. Then I'll take the paint and I'll just start painting. Now this dries very fast. It's very simple to do. And you just, I paint the entire thing, even though, because I don't know exactly where I'm going to put my letters all the time, because sometimes I try to make them straight. Other times, I don't want them straight because nothing's perfect. So, and then I wanted to show you, when you are put, using your ta uh, paint, what I do a lot of times is I'll take Vaseline, and I'll put it around the rim, because it doesn't hurt your paint, but it sure makes it a lot easier when you go to open the lid. Um, I've been diagnosed, diagnosed with severe rheumatoid arthritis, so opening and closing lids sometimes are a little tough on me, but this is really simple as long as you use the Vaseline on, on the lids. So let's say I've got this completely painted, so I'm going to move this one out and show you what I've done. I painted the whole thing this sea glass color. Now, I took vinyl lettering, which you can, like I said, get at most stores, and I just peel the backing off because it's a little sticky. And then I'll put that letter on, and like I said, I don't, nothing's perfect to me, so I just guess where I'm gonna put it. And once I have that on, and then I rub it down to make sure that it's completely down, then I'll take my outside color, which is the Flamingo. I'll use the same brush. I just cleaned it, got it wet. And as you can see, I've already done half to show you, but I, once you have your letters done, then you're just going to dip in the paint and just start painting over that vinyl. You know, the vinyl ain't going anywhere. And I just add the colors. Just add it right over top, make sure I get it all good and everything. And then I let it dry. I'll let the whole thing dry. And then I'll take, I found this nifty little tool at my husband's desk. And I'll lift the vinyl up off of it. And once I have the vinyl, now you may have some little cleanup, but then you may not. There's the heart, and I made this sign to say Florida life, because it's so cold up north right now, I'm glad I live in Florida. And I slowly peel and move the letters. Now you can, even though there's paint on top of your letter, you can reuse these letters. So don't just be anxious to throw your letters away, you want to save them. Seeing how it's pulling out that sea glass color so that you'll be able to read the sign. And these wood signs, they're so popular, but they're so expensive. Well, this is a very inexpensive way to do it, especially there's usually some wood laying around. But once I paint the whole rest of it and I get the white uh, all covered, and once this is dry, I'll peel these up and then you'll have a beautiful sign like this. And that is a very simple 
basically no mess, hardly any touch-ups that you will have to do to have yourself a beautiful sign. You can use letters and put any type of wording that you would like on them. Well, I hope this helped today and uh, makes your life a little more fun doing all the crafty things. Like I said, I use the Dixie Bell paint. Today I use Flamingo and I use the Sea Glass. Once it's completely done and dry, I also will use the Dixie Bell Clear Coat. And I use Florida colors, but they have 35 different colors to choose from. So just remember, whatever color you want your letter to be, that's what you paint the board first. Then you lay down your, let your lettering and then paint over the whole thing. Peel your lettering up. Good to go. All right. Thanks, folks. Have a good day.